Special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's here to hopefully be new in our Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the M997 Ambulance. The M997 Ambulance is a uh, modified Humvee uh, and is part of the Humvee family. This vehicle here is basically a Humvee turned into an ambulance. That's pretty much all I can really say about it. Uh, most likely you're going to see this thing in more kind of rural type bases or forward operating bases. You're not going to really see this typically too much in really well established bases as most of the time they'll have actual uh, ambulances or something of that sort, especially stateside um, military bases for the United States. But over uh, in deployed locations or uh, maybe in forward uh, armored divisions or something like that you would see vehicles like this which would be able to possibly get shot at by small arms fire and not have any uh, penetration into the vehicle or anything like that inflicting further injuries. Um, so yeah pretty standard again we all know what an ambulance is basically used to transport wounded people, uh, wounded soldiers basically to and from uh, wherever they're going to wherever they need to be taken. So yeah really cool looking vehicle and a fun vehicle to kind of uh, for the most part complete our the main vehicles here for the Humvee family. Obviously, there, obviously there's still some Humvee vehicles we haven't touched on yet but uh, this is going to kind of be the uh, icing on the cake of the really the main type, types of Humvee variants. Uh, before we go ahead and take a look at it, I want to give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description where you can put a small amount to the channel every month. And in doing so, you earn a vehicle request for every month you're a patron. It helps support me and my work I do on the channel and is obviously much appreciated. So again, feel free to check it out. Link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways, going ahead and taking a look here at the uh, Humvee. It's uh, basically using the standard chassis, so if you built any of my Humvees before, you're probably very familiar with um, this chassis type design. Getting really straightforward, real simple stuff here. Um, all that. It's got the front cab here, and then we have basically the box uh, that's attached to the back here where the medical uh, part would be, so where they would load uh, wounded patients into it and uh, all that. And uh, it's got all the, obviously, the Red Cross here markings on this vehicle and all that stuff. It's a pretty simple design, but a really good one. It's going to make, again, a great addition to any of your um, deployed bases or, uh, you know, possibly behind the lines in your battlefields or something like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, go ahead and move into our first layer. Go ahead and start off with layer one. For layer one, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a block of coal. Followed by a lever coming off the block of coal like so. And then we're going to go ahead and skip a space uh, right here. And place down a narrow block of coal and a narrow lever. So you should have two blocks of coals here, a space of two in between them. And our levers like that point upwards. Coming off the levers here toward the front, we're going to place down two dark liquid trap doors like so. And then going ahead and coming off these levers toward the back, we're going to place down two narrow brick top slabs. Coming off the sides here of these top slabs, we're going to place down a brick to a trap door to both sides. We're going to go and then place down a row of four, a smooth sandstone top slab across, followed by a second row of four. We're going to then place down a row of two narrow brick top slabs, followed by a birch trapdoor working off the sides of those top slabs. From that, we're going to go and then place down a block of coal on both sides after that trapdoor, followed by a lever on the inside of those two blocks of coal. On the back here, we're going to place down a narrow brick top slab, come off the lever, like so, a second top slab like that, and then a dark oak fence gate to both sides of that top side like so. And that right there is going to basically complete uh, what we have here for the layer. Now we're going to go ahead and also make these banners here for the sides of the vehicle. And this is something that you can kind of pick and choose. Some people like to just go ahead and do some oh, some birch with buttons on the wheels. And that works for the rims, but I do have a design here with these banners that kind of grits you a better uh, overall look for the wheels. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into showing you guys how to make those banners. All right guys, so moving into making these banners. For these, we're going to be going ahead and making the rims of these banners, or basically the wheels here, a dark gray, which a lot of the Humvees do have. You can also use yellow if you do want to try to get a clo color closer to the, the uh, tan color of the vehicle. But again, that's up to you guys. Um, if you're making this green, also, it's something you can do. Uh, you can use green, a green banner. So whichever color banner you want to use, you can go ahead and use um, for it. But we're going to be using gray. We're going to go ahead and place down a loom. Go into our loom. We're going to go ahead and place down the green banner in our loom and black dye. We're going to go ahead and select the line that splits our banner in half here of black, and then we're going to go ahead and then do the black border, only around like so. 
After that, we're going to go ahead and then, uh, take this bear, and we're going to go ahead and place it down on each one of these uh, blocks of coal like this on the side. And you get a nice design here that basically adds a little bit more of a rim to our wheels and makes them look a little bit more like wheels. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number one. Let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a row of two of looms on top of these two, uh, two uh, levers, just like that. We then want to go ahead and place down a smooth sandstone upside stair here to both sides, and then come off those smooth sandstone stairs. We're going to place down an item frame. Oops, I'm going to grab this again. And place on an iron frame, come off the sides here of these two stairs, and in those iron frames, we're going to place down some snowballs. On top of these dark oak trap doors, we're going to place down two dark oak fence gates across, and then a end rod to both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of four of uh, smooth sandstone full blocks across, followed by a row of two black concrete here in the middle, and a birch wood plank to both sides. Now, this space right here where the black concrete is, is pretty much your interior of the vehicle, uh, or at least for the front cab. Uh, you can go ahead and try to do an interior if you want, but just letting you guys know in advance, you're not going to have much room in this vehicle for really any interior, just due to its size. So, just throwing that out there for you guys, just so that you know in advance. Anyways, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to take our smooth sand stone, we're going to place down a row of four across. If we chip our hook to both sides, we then want to place down a row of four of smooth sand stone blocks across, this time with a birch wood button on both ends. We're going to place down a row of two of smooth sandstone full blocks across, uh, smooth sandstone up sound stair to both sides, and again a row of four of smooth sandstone full blocks across again, followed by a acacia wood button on both ends like that. All in the back here we're going to place down a row of four of sandstone up sound stairs. We're going to then place down a birch wood sign coming off the two stairs on the corners here. We're going to go ahead and also place down an item frame and a red stained glass uh, block in those item frames like that on the same blocks or the same stairs there on the corners for the rear brake lights And once you have that all complete there that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer 2 with that Let's go and move on to our next layer layer number 3. I right, guess on moving on to our next layer We have layer 3 for layer 3 to go ahead and get started with we're going to go ahead and place down our virtual trapdoors across these two looms in the front here Followed by a row of four of virtual trapdoors directly after that We then want to place down a row of four of light gray stained glass full blocks followed by light gray stained glass pane Coming off both sides here, and a dark oak wood sign coming off those light gray stained glass panes for the side mirrors. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stripped birch wood log here on both sides, followed by a row of two of smooth sandstone across the middle here, and again a stripped birch wood log to both sides, and again a smooth sandstone block in the middle. And uh, make sure it's actually stripped birch wood and not the logs, so you don't want the round log texture here on the top. Uh, anyways, after that's done, we're going to then take our smooth sandstone and place down a row of four all the way across. Followed by another row of four with smooth sandstone. And then on the back here, we're going to place down two stripped birch wood blocks there. And then a sandstone block in those two corners. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides here and place down a birch button on the side of this first birch wood, uh, wood piece. And then also a stone button or a birch wood button on this block here. Same thing over here on this side as well. Just like that. And also on the back here, we want to go and take our tripwire hooks. So we're going to place down two tripwire hooks on coming off those two blocks like that. Anyways, that right there is it for layer 3. With that, we're going to move into our final layers here, which are going to be basically layers 4, 5, 6, and 7. So with that, let's go and move into our last final layers. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we're we'll moving into our final layers, layers 4 through 7. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a black concrete block here on this light gray stainless block, and then a smooth sandstone block right next to it. Come off the black concrete block, we're going to place down a letter, and then come off the smooth sandstone block, we're going to place down a birchwood button. We then want to place down an upside down sandstone stair to both sides, like so, and then around those stairs, we're going to go ahead and wrap around some birch wood signs, like so. After that, we're going to place down another row of two of smooth sandstone blocks here in the middle, a birch wood log to both sides, or a birch wood block, and then uh, we're going to do the same thing again birch wood block to both sides, row of two of smooth sandstone across the middle here, also a birch wood button on both sides of this first birch wood piece. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of four of smooth sandstone blocks across. Followed by a second row of four. And on the back here, smooth sandstone block on both sides there, and then two birchwood logs there in the middle. And then on these birchwood logs, we're going to place down two uh, stone buttons, and we're also going to place down a birchwood button here on this side of this block here to both sides. After that, uh, going to the top here, we're going to, go and take our birchwood fence post, and we're going to place it on top of the smooth sandstone block. And then uh, trapdoors, or not trapdoors, but birchwood pressure plates 
to the sides here. We then want to grab a sandstone wall, we're going to place down a sandstone wall on top of this block here, and then we're going to place down a row of three of virtual trapdoors over. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four uh, of these sandstone slabs, and again a row of four next to it, so you have basically a two by four uh, rectangle on top here. And then to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four of virtual trapdoors along the sides there, just like that. And for the radio head to go ahead and finish it off, we're just going to go ahead and take our iron bars. We're going to place down one and two more iron bars on top of that birchwood fence post to make the radio antenna. Now that right there is pretty much the base vehicle, but to go ahead and add on a little bit extra to it, we're going to go ahead and make these banners here, which are pretty simple and will kind of give the more medical look to this vehicle with the uh, crosses on the side. So with that, let's go ahead and move into making those banners. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into making these banners. Now, these banners are real simple. All we're going to do is we're going to get a loom. We're going to need a white banner, two red banners, and some white dye and red dye. We're going to start off with our banners that are going to be going on the back of the vehicle. So for this, we're going to place down a white banner into our loom and our red dye. We're going to select the line that splits it down the middle here, and then also the line of red dye that splits it across the center. And you basically have a banner that looks like this. And this is going to go ahead and go on the back here on both sides, just like that. So, pretty simple. Our next banner here, we're going to go ahead and grab red, and we're going to place it down into our loom. And we're going to go ahead and select our white dye, and we're going to go ahead and select the line across the top, and the line across the bottom. And so we should have a red line here in the middle between two white lines. And we're going to go do the same thing here for our second red banner. Just like that. So after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then swap our die out for red die, and we have our two banners here. We're going to do for one of the banners, we're going to go and do the line of red on the left side, and then for the other banner, we're going to do the line of red on the right side. And very simply, they're going to go and go on the side of the vehicle on the back here, just like that. And same thing over here on this side as well, and that forms the red cross, and you have the red cross there on the back as well. And with that, that's going to pretty much wrap up my design here for the M997 uh, Humvee Ambulance. Hope you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using this design, I do actually guys give me proper credit for it. This is anything from a silent build to my channel or this video. If this doesn't pay any social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. And feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your tool for and I'll see you guys next time.